Hey, close the living room blinds. Sure, closing the living room blinds. Wow. So today's video is one I'm personally very excited for. For years, I have wanted blinds that worked with Google Assistant. That way, if I wanted, you know, like this window open, I could just tell Google to open the window blinds and it would just open. Well, inside of this box is exactly that. We took the measurements, sent everything in, and the company was nice enough to send one of these to us to create an unboxing and set up tutorial video for you. So first we're gonna get this fairly long box on the overhead rig, get it unboxed, and kind of give you a close-up of everything that comes inside of here. Then we'll go out to the living room, and then we'll go through the setup and installation process with this device and getting it to Wi-Fi and getting it working with Google Home and all of that right here in this video. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out these smart home blinds. All right, so the blinds are inside of all of this. It'll be a lot easier just to get this out of the box because it's like super taped, like super taped. So uh, we're gonna get everything out. We're gonna get everything out and then I'll show you everything laid out on the table. All right, so we officially have everything laid out here on the table. These are the mounts. These go on the wall with these screws, and they're this nice spring-loadedness that attaches the blinds. We have a remote control, a wireless smart gateway, a uh, pretty long micro USB cable there for charging, and then instructions for everything. Now, this is the actual blinds. Not much special to them besides the fact that, of course, you know, there's a built-in battery in here and they you know it has the ability to work with google home and alexa so on the back you see these nice grooves that's where these are able to just pop right into place and and so this is like your program and power button and then the charging port so we're gonna let this thing charge up for a little bit and while that is going on i'm gonna get these mounted on the wall and then we should be able to just pop this in place I can say i sadly mismeasured um this was the window i was planning to use this for which i'm still gonna put it here for the video but i uh I didn't, I didn't measure something correctly or I typed it wrong. I don't know exactly. Either way, I'm still going to put this up here. We're still going to get it connected and show it working. And special thanks to this company for sending this to me. I want to say that uh, I sent them the measurements myself and approved them. So, uh, you know, that was a mistake on my behalf. Nothing to do with them. So let's get this charged and let's get these mounted and then we can set it up. All right, so I've mounted two of the mounts. I'm gonna throw up the third one. And this is just in here charging away, so we'll let it keep charging. So all three are up. Now we just line up those uh, little mushy ends with the top here and pop it into place. And so there we are. We are installed. Now we can power it on and go through the app process. All right, so I'm not gonna really fool with this because I'm doing this. So here is everything for the gateway. Let's get this plugged up and then we'll get the app and show you what to do next. Now the gateway can be plugged in anywhere. I just happen to have an outlet right here. So I'm gonna use this outlet. There we go. Now our gateway is powered on. And if you actually look at this instruction set, there is the app you have to download, which funny enough, I already have. So here is the app. I will just kind of put these side by side. Plug in. All right, so you can see a few Look at that, it already found it. That is amazing. Signed into the app and it knew exactly what I wanted. You can't beat that kind of setup process. Now that is my correct Wi-Fi username and password, so I'll select next. And now it is adding this gateway to the Wi-Fi. Wow, that was, wow, I hope the rest of it's that easy. So we'll give this a moment to do its thing. All right, so our gateway was added. That was very easy. So let's let's run this update and then uh, we'll continue on. Auto upgrade. There we go. All right. So this has completed its update. Now we're able to go into here and we can add another sub device. But first we've got to power on the blinds. So get you some kind of little screwdriver and your button is right there beside the micro USB port. Now to power it on, you long press it for one second and you'll see it flash red and cut on. All right. I think it cut on. Now we're going to press it five times to go into networking mode. And on the last one, we're going to hold it for three seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
three. Okay, there we go. It is flashing green. That means this is in pairing mode. So that means down here I can select add device and discovering nearby devices, make sure the device is in pairing mode. And so by doing the five presses and holding it for three seconds on the last press, it seems to have did everything. It should pop up here to connect. Let's see what happens. And there it is, AOKZB -OK motor, one device successfully added. So we'll select done. And now we'll call this living room blinds. Done, done, and voila, this device is added in. So now, the moment of truth. It looks like a pretty simple layout, up and down. Let's uh, hit the button down. Wow, amazing. <laughs> I hate that I measured it wrong. Totally my fault though. And so there is the maximum length. And if we were to press up, it should go back up. Wow. And that wasn't sped up or anything. That's how long it takes. Very cool. So, so let's go into our Google Home app. And since I already have that app linked, it should show up down here at the bottom. Let's, uh, let's refresh. And there we are, the gateway and the living room blinds. So um, let's add these to the home, put them in the living room. All right, there we go. Now we'll ask Google. Hey Google, resync devices. Sure, syncing devices for nine providers. All right, we'll give that a moment to go through and then we'll try it with the Google Assistant. Alrighty then, so let's give this a go. Hey, close the living room blinds. Sure, closing the living room blinds. Wow. So it actually works. Alright. Hey, open the living room blinds. Alright, opening the living room blinds. There it goes. That is freaking amazing. I, uh, I love these. I hate that I gave the wrong information. Totally my fault, but hopefully this setup video will help somebody out. All right, so that will do it for this set of smart lines. Now, uh, when you order these, you'll be filling everything out on the website. You put in your exact measurements. Uh, I just didn't measure mine correctly, so that was 100% my fault, not the company's fault. But this video was more of showing you exactly the setup process with these. As you see, I had a very easy time getting these set up. They worked instantly. So two big thumbs up to the software team. And having smart blinds like this on certain windows can be a lifesaver for some people. So I would highly, highly recommend these if you're in the market for something like this. So I'll of course have this exact set linked down below where you'll be able to pick out your dimensions and pick out your type, whether you want the smart motor or just the remote and order some blinds yourself. So thank you all for watching. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.